The purpose of this video is to help with the process of importing bookmarks into WebCall from either Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or somewhere else. We're going to try to cover all that in this video, as well as some of the basics of simply moving bookmarks from one place to another. Feel free to check the description for timestamps to jump to a specific section of the video that will help you most. Or just watch all the way through to get a full grasp of how to manage importing and exporting bookmarks across mainstream browsers. Importing and exporting bookmarks between web browsers and other tools is a straightforward process that anyone can do. It allows you to transfer your saved links to websites and the folders they are in between different devices, services, and software while maintaining the correct folder structure. First, let's cover some of the basics of bookmarks and also touch on some potential other uses for bookmark export files, such as creating personal backups, time capsules, or sharing bookmarks with family and friends. In most web browsers, bookmarks are saved into folders in your bookmark manager or in a special folder called the bookmarks bar or bookmarks menu. This folder allows you to access your saved links quickly from any browser window. When you create an export file, all your bookmarks and folders, including your bookmarks bar, are saved into a standardized HTML file that most browsers and tools like Chrome, Firefox, or WebCall understand. One of the things that is pretty cool is this export file can actually be open just like a normal HTML page in a web browser, which is a great way to preview what's inside, but it's actually a specifically formatted HTML file to facilitate the import and export of links in a hierarchical folder structure. So you probably shouldn't ever edit this file unless you really know what you're doing because it could corrupt the file and prevent it from being able to be imported. Another lesser known way to use the bookmark export file is to share your links much easier than you would within your bookmark manager directly. Besides sending the whole file to someone, you can select specific parts of the file within your browser and copy the links directly, which works great for emails, docs, or anything else that accepts rich text formatting. On the other hand, in WebCall, this process can actually be better achieved through the Collections folder, which lets you share folders of your bookmarks with a single link. And in this case, you can still add or remove stuff from the collection that you're sharing, and anyone with a link will see your changes instantly. Lastly, bookmark time capsules can be created easily by simply backing up your export files and storing them somewhere safe. Looking back on old bookmarks you used to use 20 years ago can be a wholesome way to reflect on your past, or a great way to check up on old sites that you've long forgotten about. It doesn't matter if you're using browsers or services like WebCall, you can always create an export file to keep a backed up time capsule to your past. Now, we've arrived at the part of the video that is dedicated to going through each browser and demonstrating how to do an export or import. As stated earlier, you can always jump to the specific section that you want to learn about with the timestamp links in the description below. In Chrome, you can export your bookmarks by going to the three dot menu button near the top right of your browser. From there, you need to select bookmarks, which will open a list of your saved bookmarks where you'll find an option for bookmark manager. In the bookmark manager, you need to find the three dot menu button, which should be near the top right, but shouldn't be confused with the button right above. Clicking this will expand more options. There, you should see an option to do an export or an import. When we click the export option, it will open a dialog where we can select the place to save the export file. For now, we'll choose a temporary location. Likewise, if we wanted to import bookmarks, we would simply go back to the same menu with the three dots and select import this time, and then choose the previously saved export file for the import. In Firefox, you can export your bookmarks by going to the hamburger menu button near the top right of your browser. Then you need to select bookmarks, 
which will open a list of saved bookmarks with the bottom button being Manage Bookmarks. From there, you need to find a drop down menu button with the two arrows, one pointing up and one pointing down, which should be near the top left of the bookmark manager. Clicking this will expand more options. There you should see an option to import or export your bookmarks as an HTML file. When I click the export option, it will open a dialog where I can select where to save the export file. For now, I'll choose a temporary location. Likewise, if I wanted to import bookmarks, I would simply go back to the same menu with the up and down arrows and select import this time, and then choose the previously saved export file for the import. In Safari, you can export your bookmarks by going to the file menu at the top and selecting export. There you will see an option called bookmarks which lets you save the HTML bookmark export file. Likewise, to do an import, you can click the file menu again and select import from. There you will find an option to click bookmark HTML file, which will allow you to select a previously generated export file from your computer. Exporting or importing from WebCall works very similar to the browser process. After logging into your account, you need to locate the settings gear at the top right. You may not see it immediately because if you're on a desktop or laptop, the top navigation is hidden until you hover your cursor near the top of the bookmark manager. Once you click the gear, a menu will appear where you find options for import or export. If you click import, you can select a bookmark export file from your computer. You can likewise export your bookmarks to the same format where it can be re-imported into a browser or web call. Web call additionally offers an option for a CSV file bookmark export, but this is not the same as the standardized HTML export file and can't be used for imports. In this video, we covered some of the main browsers on the market but may have left some out. So we possibly will make special videos just for them in the future or revise this video to be more broad. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content about WebCall and much more.